Hey, time travelers. There's this thing all over the YouTubes about trying Windows 11 and how Windows 11 was leaked. And I'm, I somehow got a hold of it. And that's what I'm going to be trying in this video. If the video title wasn't clear enough. So I found out about it and from this knucklehead's video. And I thought, I might have that. Because sometimes things just mysteriously appear on my hard drives. Well, I walk down into my black hole room where things sometimes mysteriously appear. And I walked out with the hard drive. And guess what? This weird file was on it. Let's check it out. That's the one that was on the drive. So we're going to try that. Go over to VMware. Create new virtual machine. Choose installer disk. Browse. Grab it. I won't be trying to install it on actual hardware because according to these videos, it doesn't work. And maybe some of the videos figured it out, but I'm not going to waste my time on trying to put it on actual hardware when we know it's just a leaked build. Next is Microsoft Windblows. Um, we'll call it Windows 10. Let's go with that. Um, let's give it 30 gigs of space. Customize hardware. Uh, let's give it, yeah, two cores is good. Memory. Let's give it eight gigs. Because that's how much my Windows 10 1909 has. Play. Dang it, I didn't let me press any key. Let me press the any key. There. Any key has been pressed. Now, I do not condone any type of piracy or stealing things from Microsoft or other software developers or actually having a black hole where things mysteriously appear in your basement because you don't want to implode the universe. Next. Install now. Set up the starting. Go ahead and take a nap. Oh, I don't have a product key? Does that... Oh, okay. Windows 11 Pro? Pro Education? Pro Education N? I'm going with Pro for workstations. What's the difference between Pro and Pro? I don't know. I accept. I'm actually gonna probably throw this away after I'm done playing with it. Fill up all of the space. When wind blows files. Oh, this looks different. Hmm. Yes. I thought I already said that earlier in the initial setup. No, I don't need a second keyboard layout. Oh, it's checking for updates already? Man. Noted. Disconnect from network in the future. Hmm. Personal use? Um, where's the don't make me sign into my Microsoft account option? Offline account. Sweet. Limited experience. I call it the advanced experience. Put my name in there. Give it a password. No, you can't know what my password is. And then you give it security question things. Ooh, privacy settings. That looks like less than Windows 10. Location services, no. Find my device, no. Diagnostic data, required only. Re You're not required to have any of that. Turn it all off. You have no choice but to click accept. That is the only way to proceed. Oh, stupid, hi. Still have that? Dear Microsoft, remove that. This should already be ready, ready already. This time, when we say this might take a few minutes, you get blue, purple, green blurries to distract you. Well, that was a pleasant sound. One of the things that bothered me about different versions of Windows was stupid startup sound. Especially in IT when I have to like work on 50 billion computers at once and all of them at the same time are like, Vista sound! Already to start with, I like this background better than this stupid cave arch thing looking out onto the beach. This is annoying seeing rows and rows of these at work. All right, wind blows 11. Show me your secrets. All right, Windows 10, 1909. I can't talk. 1909. Also show up to work. More details. Come on, Task Manager. Performance. Um, logical processors. I'm just showing you guys that I gave both of these VMs two of my CPU cores. Boop. See, it's got eight gigs of RAM, and this one's got eight gigs of RAM. Well, this weird settings menu will ever come up. Okay, eight gigs of RAM. There, I proved it. 
Apple stuff. Oranges. Opening the start menu. Just like this. Opening the start menu over here. Is. Oh. I'm clicking on the. It's over here. Stupid start button. And what is this garbage? It's more garbager now. And besides, normally I would change this taskbar settings all the way around, but I've changed it back to default. I'm just doing this, show you one thing to pick on Linus Tech Tips a little bit. He's like, oh, the search button is separate from the start button, but can you still search in the start menu? Blah, 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 you can. Well, look at Windows 10 1909 version. See? Windows 10 Pro. Winver. 1909, search button separate from start button. Can still search by typing on the start menu, since always in Windows 10. His other complaint was like, how do I get the task manager open? Do I right click on the start button and then go to task manager? When you can just hit control shift escape? He was like, you can't do it over here. Um, task manager right there guy. Now, how do I make the taskbar less garbage or right-click taskbar? There's no unlock button. I can't hover my mouse over the edge like this one after you unlock it so I could be more productive. Show badges, show windows things, show task view button. Off. I know how to hit windows button tab, genius. So search button. Off. Yeah, it's Windows 10, you had to go like this and go search hidden. Get rid of that garbage. And the task view thing was the same way. Uncheck it. I want to show small icons thing. Where is it? Taskbar alignment. Left. Like Normans. Because I read from left to right, not middle to out. Because I'd be like, I'm trying to read a sentence. But I'm Microsoft and I'm retarded. Notification area. Show all of the things. Stop having secrets from me. That's the same thing in Windows 10. Like that. Where's that other setting? This one's called use small taskbar buttons. And you go down here and change combined taskbar buttons to when taskbar is full. Now you can actually see what's happening. You drag the taskbar up to make it taller. So I want... There's no use small taskbar buttons! This is my look of disapproval. Ooh, changing taskbar color. Let's see how... What? I don't need a help thing. I need to go to the thing thing. There's the colors thing. Red. It says recent colors. I just installed Windows! You lie! That's grayed out. This test build is broken. Their taskbar doesn't support stuff. And I already have the new edge. Well, let's see how new edge it is. Settings. What? I don't care about profiles. I said go to settings. What? It goes there again. I'm not giving you a profile. Show me what freaking version you are, stupid thing. Do they have the old... Yep, they have the old menu for programs. Microsoft Edge, 90.0. This is an old leak build. Or it has old edge. Not as old as the edge inside of Windows 10 1909. Haha. <laughs> Let's use the edge to get another browser. Brave. Installer. Download. Thanks, Bing. Download Brave. Open it. Beep boop boom. Now this is a thing that I hate. Stupid user account control. Let's see how difficult it is to find it. Stupid start menu is so ugly. User account control. Change user account control settings. This looks exactly like Windows 10 and Windows 8 and Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Next restart, you won't be asking me that crap every single time. Don't turn this setting off if you're a noob and you just click random things because you can get a virus that way. And now I have Brave. So, installing programs is the same. Ooh, Winver. What's Winver look like? Wind blows 11. OS build 21996.1. What's my main computer? 19042. Hmm. Stupid store in my taskbar. Unpen. Stupid settings thing. Oh, it's not pinned. I have it open. 
What about the apps thing? You really searching? How to remove programs. Looks just like Windows 10. I don't know. Tell me, peeps, what you think about these rounded corners. I'm kind of okay with it, but to me, it looks like a child's operating system. Hmm. What operating system does that remind me of? Oh, that's right. Windows XP. I know XP wasn't awesome right away. Some geeks out there are like, XP was so cool. Not till Service Pack 2 came out and got all the bugs out of it. Widgets. Unpin. Explorer. Unpin. Close all windows. Stupid taskbar settings. I hate them, Microsoft. I want the small things. Is there any drop downs? No. No, Microsoft is so horrible and ugly. That's it. This start menu is garbage. This taskbar is garbage. I'm just wondering, it's pinned apps and recommended. Did they actually get rid of all the, the bloat and the ads in the start menu? Like this has that I had to uninstall all the garbage and this computer had and I uninstalled all the garbage. But then where would they put it? They will have ads. You know they will have ads. I think it is yet to be seen where Microsoft will shove ads down your throat and then get paid for every time you click one on accident or on purpose because you don't know any better. Well, that's it. I guess it's time for my awkward end screen. I have to edit this thing. It's not that pretty. Subscribe for more shenanigans. And click like if you thought this, this video was funny or informative or... You just like my, my channel because it really helps the channel out. Okay, bye.